All right, uh, our special coverage on the odd even plan. It's just three days remaining for the odd even plan to be implemented. And now suddenly you have more than half of this city actually wanting an exemption. Traders, lawyers, doctors, everybody has now uh, given a representation to the national, uh, to the Delhi government seeking to be exempt from this particular plan. Now traders argue that they cannot carry large sums of cash in public transport. Lawyers argue that bail applications for clients are like matter of life and liberty and have also threatened to go on strike if they are not exempted from the plan. However, the Aam Party has turned that down. And doctors claim that adherence to the plan could mean a matter of life and death for their patients. The government, meanwhile, has rejected the demand of the lawyers, but there is no clarity on whether the government will give in to the demands of traders and doctors. The government, in a plan to uh, step up public transport, is planning 200 extra metro runs in all routes with high frequency. Government is also planning to run the last metro at 12 midnight in selected routes. The, the doctors uh, also are uh, feeling the pinch of this uh, uh, plan and uh, the lawyers, I'm told, have also given a representation because they say that they are performing an essential function because when they uh, have to appear for a, their client who, whose bail matter is coming up, it's a question of life and liberty. It's a very emergency. लेकिन हमारी नजर में आज पलूसन सबसे बड़ी इमरजेंसी सामने आकर के खड़ा हो चुका है और मुझे लगता है कि इसके लिए लोगों को खड़ा होना पड़ेगा रही बात परेशानियों की तो पंद्रह दिन का फर्स्ट पहले चरण का कैंपेन है जिसमें दो संडे हैं छः दिन आपकी गाड़ी चलेगी छः दिन नहीं चलेगी छः दिन के लिए आपके लिए सारे जो है वो अल्टरनेट मौजूद हैं this has all the makings of a royal failure, Anusha. You have, uh, the exception list is longer than the rule list. You have more and more people who are coming up and saying that we are doing a job of national importance. We are doing a job of uh, uh, pressing emergency. We all need exemption. Little wonder, we should also perhaps as journalists approach the Delhi government and say, our job is also not particularly anti-national, you know. We are also doing some sort of social service. Absolutely correct, Sanket, and I guess the media in our country is known to take up the national cause so well. So, of course, we can go ahead uh, and claim that even our job requires us uh, to give to be given an exemption from the odd even plan. You know, while I was following up this news uh, this morning about the exemptions traders, lawyers, and doctors are asking from the odd even scheme, I remember a quote from a very famous Hindi writer called Premchand. He said, "We all, as Indians, want the revolutions to happen at the neighborhood's house. We do not want a change to come inside our own homes." And I guess that's what is exactly happening. So when we sit and talk about the increasing levels of pollution and how our own home, the city, is becoming difficult to breathe, when it comes to actually making difficult changes, everyone wants a way out of it. And uh, I think that's a broader sociological question that we must pose, that people in our society, the larger people in our society, like lawyers, doctors, who are doing important jobs and are also, in a way, role makers and role definers in our society, shouldn't they step up and actually become a part of such important changes they are coming not to say that these changes do not have a flaw however the first step absolutely anusha well said uh, that uh, certainly because it's a uh, and as gopal rai mentioned there uh, this the biggest emergency at this moment is our health concerns and perhaps that is something which should be kept in mind uh, even as we speak however uh, it now appears anusha do stay on with us it now appears that the, this uh, has all the makings of a massive fight massive differences we are speaking to both the sides. Remember, just three days left, we spoke to the Delhi police chief and he says that we'll take on-the-spot decisions. We have a dilemma. Remember, for the Delhi police particularly, it's going to be very difficult. So far, they used to chalan people for something which was either there or not there. So if they ask for an insurance paper, either you will have an insurance paper or you will not. Either you will have a driving license or you will not. Either your number plate will be broken or it will be not. Either you'll be wearing a seatbelt or you will not. But in this particular case, they will have to deal with a case-by-case -case basis because the list of exemptions or exceptions is so long that it is a proving out to be a Herculean task for the Delhi police. Meanwhile, the Aam Aadmi Party feels that law enforcement is the, the Delhi police's job and they are going to assist with the, their own volunteers and that's where the trouble has compounded. Where the Delhi police says that if a private citizen is harassed by another set of private citizens, then there is a problem. Then we have a law and order problem that we are dealing with here. 
uh, through the course of the 15 days. So, uh, right here on India today, we are going to focus on whether this uh, even odd plan is going to give us clearer roads, cleaner air, or is this going to lead to a chaotic ride and complete law and order chaos in the national capital? If any private citizen is harassed by any volunteer, very strict action should be taken against any such volunteer because no private citizen has the right to harass other citizen. We are going to make a request that all volunteers must report to Delhi police tomorrow by 12. We can uh, brief them, we can sensitize them, we can make them aware of their rights. We have decided to put 10,000 civil defense volunteers to put 10,000 civil defense volunteers. This is not a volunteer of the Aadmi Party. Is it a party of the Aadmi Party? नहीं हमारे पार्टी के नहीं है ये पब्लिकली नोटिस करके डीएम भर्ती करते हैं सिविल डिफेंस वॉलेंटियर पहले से भी पांच हजार से ज्यादा सिविल डिफेंस के वॉलेंटियर हैं और नए भी भर्ती हो रहे हैं क्या ये लोग दिल्ली पुलिस को रिपोर्ट करेंगे ये इनको रिपोर्ट करने की जरूरत नहीं नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द वेरियस फ्लैश पॉइंट दैट कुड नाउ इमर्ज इमर्ज फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी ऑनवर्ड बिटवीन द लॉ मेकर्स एंड द लॉ इम्प्लीमेंटर्स हेयर इज Delhi Police Chief B S Bassi telling us what could perhaps be the possible flashpoints. Create there are a lot of exemptions. It is uh, good for us because my task becomes simple. No, but um, does it then make it difficult to implement the scheme? For example, people can claim I'm unwell. Are you yes, concerned? Yes. If somebody claims that he is unwell, obviously we we are not going to uh, chalan uh, him or her. So uh, because that is uh, trust based. No, but are you concerned that that could get misused? Well, I do, I'm not bothered about uh, the misuse. As far as I'm concerned, that is an exemption and that exemption is trust-based. I'm going to implement uh, that exemption. The first thing that has been given to them is the two-wheeler. The list of the Rashtrapati Mahode and the list of the Kendri Mantriyon is the list of 200 people. The second thing that we have left is that there is a medical emergency. If it's a joke, 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 it's a
desperate measures for desperate times. Delhi gasps for a breath. The national capital is all set to witness the first ever experiment of its own kind, Delhi government's odd even car scheme. However, the scheme conveniently leaves behind the two wheelers, which contribute to about 33% of the overall pollution in the national capital. Over 55 lakh two wheelers continue to ply on the roads of Delhi without any quality control or pollution checks in place. Experts further say that exempting the two wheelers could also be a political move, with Kejriwal government treading cautiously to not irk its middle class co voter base. Even if you reduce numbers, but if a car carries four people, then you are actually increasing the carrying capacity of the cars and two wheelers. So, this will be able to absorb the additional demand for public transport that is going to be generated during the odd and even formula program. So yeah, they should just go ahead and implement it. It is more expensive to use public transport in this city. So the government should actually focus on reducing taxes on public transport and increasing taxes on cars and two-wheelers so that people will then use public transport. The luxury diesel cars were the first to face the ire of the Supreme Court of India. But even the apex court cited the IIT Kanpur report on the Delhi pollution menace and said that in the coming time, that further steps will be taken to counter the menace of the increasing pollution, including placing checks on the two-wheelers. The IIT report further notes that construction dust, trucks and the two-wheelers in Delhi are the major cause of the air pollution. Experts believe that the Delhi government, the Kejriwal government's move to exempt the two-wheelers from the even-odd car scheme is an attempt to make sure that their mass electoral voter base, which is the middle class, which usually uses two-wheelers, is not adversely affected and is not irked. However, the experts are hopeful that in the coming time, in the coming phases, the government will have some mechanism to address the issue of the pollution, which is over 30% of the pollution in the national capital, which emanates from the two-wheelers. With camera person Bipin, this is Anusha Sony for India Today. So trucks, as far as vehicular pollution is concerned, they pollute the most and then two-wheelers. Why? Because of their sheer number, 56 lakh two-wheelers, Anusha. Uh, that's what your report actually tells us. 56 lakhs of them actually plying on Delhi's roads. And we are only counting the ones registered in the national capital because Delhi is landlocked. You've got some coming in from Haryana, some coming in from UP. That number is far higher. And you know what the biggest fear is? If this policy or even not policy is to be implemented on cars, everyone who can afford a car can also afford a two-wheeler. Will we then see a surge in the sales of two-wheelers, further polluting or further contributing to pollution? Absolutely correct, Sanket. Few points that you mentioned are pretty valid. One is the fact that these numbers we're talking about, 55 to 56 lakh, this is just in the national capital. Also, one of the key issues with the two-wheeler is that, as we pointed out in our report, there is no air pollution quality check control that happens. A 15-year-old diesel car or a petrol car cannot ply on the road of the national capital. However, we do not have mechanisms in place to check the motorbikes we often see going across Delhi, leaving a trail of smoke and dust behind. So, of course, there are no quality control in checks as far as you know uh, encouraging more two wheelers is concerned yes I know a lot of people who do have cars and also a bike or a scooter at their home and on a day when they cannot take a car out they would rather be encouraged uh, to have the two wheeler on the road uh, but the key issue here is that the government is not yet ready to put that kind of burden on the public transport system that is what they cannot do right now uh, the the frequency of the metros have to increase uh, have to be increased the buses have to be increased uh, uh, the number of CNG auto rickshaws you're offering, that has to increase. So, of course, these will be phases in the coming time. But with trucks, the menace of the two-wheelers continues to contribute to the uh, you know increasing pollution in the national capital. That's right. Anusha, also a word. If you could tell us a little about uh, uh, what the Delhi government has actually clarified uh, the position on uh, vehicles from other states. We know that this rule applies as far as uh, the Delhi NCR vehicles are concerned. But say for instance, let me give you an example, if there's someone who's coming in from Jaipur or someone who's coming in from uh, uh, say some other part, from Lucknow, what happens to their vehicle? 
Well, the ignorance of law is no defense to the law, so that stays very clear. If you have a law in place uh, in Delhi, uh, the vehicles coming inside Delhi will have to, uh, you know, uh, adhere to that law, will have to follow that law. Uh, they will be given warning by the authorities and as the authorities have been pointing out, in the initial phases, it's going to be a very case-by-case -case decision that they are going to make. However, the mere fact that they've come from outside is not going to exempt them. They will have to follow the guidelines that are place, uh, that are in place by the Delhi government. All right, Anusha Soni, many thanks for joining us with all the latest. Now, let's uh, tell you uh, another point of conflict as far as uh, this odd even plan that is concerned. To all those people who thought that our car has a CNG cylinder, we have installed a CNG system and then that's why we are exempt from this particular odd even formula. Wrong. The latest press conference of the Aam Admi Party, the Delhi government has now released a new CNG hologram which will be available from today on all CNG filling stations. What could cause trouble for the common man though is that stickers will only be given to those vehicles with company fitted CNG which essentially means it should clearly be mentioned in the RC as well. Your registration certificate should say that it runs on CNG. This condition set by the Delhi government will make thousands of vehicles that later converted to CNG ineligible for exemption. This is likely to create some confusion and chaos in the CNG filling stations. जो ये कहा गया हो दिल्ली सरकार की तरफ से आपको दिया गया हो और ये कहा गया हो कि जब आप CNG भरें तो फला फला गाड़ियों पर ये स्टिकर लगाया जाए अभी तो स्टिकर आया नहीं है पर एक दो दिन में आ जाएंगे इसके बाद फिर देखते हैं ऐसा होगा अभी मतलब हमारे तक जानकारी अभी नहीं आई ना स्टिकर अभी तक मिले एक दो दिन में मिल जाएंगे तो फिर लगाएंगे चेक करेंगे on to some entertainment news now. Bollywood actor Salman Khan turns 50 today. A grand midnight birthday party was organized at Sanman's Panvel house where all his family members, relatives...